All of the green light cameras across the city, all fed back to one place, and tonight we're taking you inside. It's called the Real Time Crime Center. It plays a central role in how Detroit police try to fight crime across the city. It's full of high tech tools to keep Detroiters safe. And we aren't just talking about cameras. Evron Cassidy is live inside the Crime Center tonight to show us how it all works. Evron. Karen and Devin, we have heard of Project Greenlight by now, but the technology that the Detroit Police Department has at its fingertips goes a lot further than that. Take a look behind me. You see these cameras here. As I mentioned earlier, someone is always watching. And for the Detroit Police Department, the technology inside of this room has come in very handy. This is the victim or the offender? This is the victim. It was Sunday, October 3rd, 2021, just after 7.30 a.m. Oh, my. What happened next is too graphic to show on TV. What happened to the victim? Um, this was a homicide. But it was all caught on the city of Detroit's Project Greenlight cameras. And we're able to track this suspect prior to the shooting, mm -hmm. up to an hour before walking through the streets. And about 45 minutes, 50 minutes before the shooting was able to walk into, we were able to see him walk into a uh, business without a mask on. Um, and so this led to us being able to put out a really clear image of that suspect to our community. The suspect was identified after tips from viewers. He's now charged with murder. Analysts inside the Detroit Police Department's real-time crime monitoring center believe the technology they have access to helps them fight crime faster. What have you seen on some of these cameras in real time? Um, you know, we've seen uh, a lot of violent crime. You know, we've seen some uh, non-fatal shootings, some homicides. We've seen property crimes. We've seen, uh, you know, individuals victims of domestic violence at these locations. Uh, and so having that access immediately mm -hmm. is critical. Samatia Takos is the executive manager of the Crime Intel Unit. It's a 24-7 operation. This hub houses the feed from Project Greenlight cameras at 802 businesses within the city of Detroit. Each business has a minimum of four cameras. In total, there are 4,338 cameras watching over Detroit at any given moment. This gas station at Grand River in Wyoming used to be a hotspot for crime. I would sit in my office, people were shot, stabbed, wow. fights, I mean, you, crazy stuff. Community activist Reverend Horace Sheffield helped finance the cameras at this gas station, now a Project Greenlight partner. And it has changed its total neighborhood. If you talk to anybody part of our coalition, mm -hmm. they will tell you the one thing that changed this neighborhood was the green light on this corner. Hopefully we're driving down the violent crime in the city. DPD's commander of major crimes, Michael McGinnis, understands how crucial this technology is. It helped put a suspect behind bars for robbery and the murder of a man at Andy's Market in January of last year. What they did is they backtracked the video and, a, and found him on video at a prior establishment before the, the robbery without his mask on. Our goal is really to integrate that for both for officer safety and also to empower our community to know that, you know, we do have these assets available. DPD analyzes data to determine where more cameras are needed. Businesses can choose to opt in and be a part of Project Greenlight. There are two shot spotter detectors, one each on Detroit's east and west sides near the 8th and 9th precincts. The monitors you see on the big screens show what's happening in real time. Analysts can communicate with officers to assist as needed. The real strength of our program is when we can use these tools in combination. I just lost them. And the Real-Time Crime Center also monitors license plate readers and shot spotter technology that's able to triangulate where a gunshot is coming from here in the city. Now, some critics argue that it's unreliable, but the Detroit Police Department has shown that it has helped them fight crime. And in the coming weeks, City Council is going to decide whether or not to expand the program. Reporting live here at DPD headquarters, Everod Cassidy, Local 4. All right, making a big difference. We appreciate it. Thank you, Everod.